Hi. Hold on. Oh. Can I move the camera? Holding on. Can you see my candle in the shot? Not really. Uh, she's in critical condition. It's just, she's just here for me. Just trust there's a candle here and that's all that matters. There's Mel over there. Hello. Hi, Mel. Hi. Hi, Mel. Hello. Mel is going to be asking me questions, but they're not Mel's questions. They're questions from you. You specifically. Just you. Maybe not. Probably not from you, but from some of you that are watching. I'm doing a Q question. Do you have any pre-show rituals or things that you do before shows to help calm you down? I sure do. I like I like tea and candles. Candles is a new one, but I do generally like tea. For like my whole life, I've always liked tea. Probably apart from when I was a like infant. I my last tour manager had a candle in every green room and it made it smell the same and it made it feel comfortable. So I've stolen that and now I take a candle with me. How did you choose the name Cape Town? Um, I get asked this so much and I, I don't freaking know. I don't know the answer. I'd like to I'd, I'd, I'd like to have a cool answer and be like, oh, it has this deep meaning. But with lots of things that I write and that I create and stuff, I, it just sounds cool. It just sounds like nice and comfortable and sounds right. Like with lots of lyrics, I'll write it without even like thinking about it. And it's just like I'll have a melody in my head and I think of a lyric that just seems like it works, and so I write it, and then later on, I kind of like analyze myself later on and think, oh, this is what this means. It just sounded cool. <laughs> From Lemon Girl Jazz, uh, there's a picture of a mouse, I believe, with a cat, and it's called Lemon Girl Jazz. Uh, it says, my good boy wants to know which animal kingdom creature is your favorite. <laughs> Can I see the good boy first? Yes. What is this? Oh, it's a hamster. Oh. <laughs> He's got big balls. I'm sorry for d pointing this out. I love him. He has good feet. Very nice. I used to have a hamster. He was called Sydney. He was my little guy, and then he died. He passed away. I really like Sandy. I think that's the my favorite like looking one. I I like I like the way Sandy looks, and I like Ash's story the best because Ash is the one that's he's an old guy and he can't see anything because he has big cataracts and it's funny because usually you think an owl is going to be smart but he, and wise but he like doesn't know anything and he like he's like one of those old people who's just like smiling all the time and looking around and is just like happy to be alive but they don't know what's happening Asian Emerson asks what is the inspiration behind Animal Kingdom? Oh I don't know I, did, I really like making um, like characters and stories and like linking that in with music and um, basically I, we wanted to do like a, a series of splits where I like work with my friends and like help them make cool tracks and like if they need help obviously and I also want to start doing more producing and like r producing things that aren't my own things um, so it was an opportunity to do that and basically you need like a theme to go along with it and I'm like hey let's make some characters I like animals let's make an animal world that's it Stephanie on Twitter asks how long does it take to write a song it really depends sometimes I can like you get in the zone of it and you just like you write one verse and then you already know what happens next and you can just bang it out in like a day and sometimes it it is a bit more stop and go so you kind of you write a verse and then you get stuck on what happens next come back to it a couple of days later i can write and finish like a track in between like 10 hours and two weeks it could be like anywhere or between those two from nancy frant waters and the question is do you eat the crusts on pizza pizza important research going around about this yes that's why you have dip that's why you get dip with your pizza so you don't just eat just like dry crusty bread, you you save your crusts and you dip them in the dip in your garlic and herb dip from Domino's, especially if it has cheese inside it. That's good. Next question is from Tyler Joe Franks on Twitter, and they ask, "What is your most memorable show you've played?" My birthday show. That was like literally. I'm not even kidding. The best day of my entire life, and before that, my best day of my life was when I went to Disneyland when I was ten. So that's kind of cool because then, my, cause then it, uh, 10 years later, my best day was my birthday. That whole day was really wild.
and very emotionally taxing, but I enjoyed it. How's Fig doing? He's good. Have you seen, um, he injured himself because he's a stupid cat boy. He jumped up on the door and he, uh, he got his nail caught in the wood and then he basically just fell off the door and left his nail in the wood and so therefore he ripped his nail away from his body. Apparently I wasn't, obviously I wasn't there but I got a text for it, um, while we were on, we were driving, and so since we were driving, I didn't really have good service, so I didn't get, there was a picture with it, which wouldn't load, and my dad just said, Fig ripped his nail out, and I just said, there was no picture, I'm like, what has happened? And so oh, I finally got the picture, and it was just him with a bandage on, and apparently he'd like ripped the bandage off immediately, and then got back up on the door, so I think he's fine. I think he's a good boy. He's very strong. That fizzy cat twenty four asks favorite places you've been and would you go back? I really liked Chicago, and I would go. Well, why would I not go back if I liked it? <laughs> yes, I go back to all the places I liked. I would go back to Chicago because I liked it. I liked Michigan was really pretty, but but it was like minus nineteen degrees, so that wasn't very nice. Um, I'd like to visit there when it's like sunny. Um, so yeah, I like Chicago. I really liked Toronto. That was very cool. Um, thing is, lots of places I go, I don't get to really see them very much because I, I'm, I'm, I'll be in a van. So you, you basically drive straight to a hotel or to the venue, do a show, do a sleep, then drive. So there's not much to do, um, not much time to do things. Um, so I, 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 it's hard to answer that question. But yeah, so far I've really liked Chicago, Michigan, and Toronto. Next question is from Carly. And they asked, what are your favorite pair of socks? My favorite socks? Hmm. It kind of changes. It depends on what the rest of my outfit looks like. The correct answer is... Lemon boy socks that you can find on Cave Town Dark. <laughs> or on tour at the merch table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, well, my, fa- my favorite socks to wear. I really like these ones actually that I'm wearing now. They have dinos on them. Dinosaurs. I like those. Um, I really. I have some white ones that have little. Um, like French bulldogs embroidered into the side, which I like quite a lot. Um, I think I, t- I tend to not buy socks that I don't like. I like all my socks. I'm a sock guy. What's your favorite dinner food? My favorite what food? Dinner. Dinner food. My favorite, I have two, f- well, my first favorite food is ramen, a nice veggie ramen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm dying. Do you need a drink? My, fa- my favorite food is ramen. My second favorite food is vegan nachos. And that just means nachos with like vegan cheese on them. I think vegan cheese works better on nachos than regular cheese because the regular cheese like dries on it and then you can't get a good scoopy. If it's, if it's dried in one place, you can't get a scoop of it because it's just dry cheese. Um, and it will stick to like two of the nachos. But if you have vegan cheese, it doesn't really dry in the same way, so you can get nice scoops. Mel's passed away. Oh, rip. I think I ruined the video. I know, it's okay. It's okay. You might not be able to hear it that much with the speaker, with this... Uh... We're too much. <laughs> this is still me talking, but the voice is lower. Vag- Vagus Virgo, maybe. <laughs> What's your favorite tattoo and why? Less than three three. Okay. <laughs> um, my favorite tattoo is my snail. I'm not going to show it to you because I have to take, have to take my trousers off, and I don't want to do this. But it's on my knee. I'll put a picture in the video now. It's a snail, and it's on my knee, and he's my friend, and I like him. He was the first tattoo I got that actually made me like laugh when I looked in the mirror, and I want to get more like that. Like, I love all my other ones, but they're not like ones you go like, ha! <laughs> like, it's just like, it's, oh, that looks nice. But I looked at my snail and I was, it was a real LOL moment for me. <laughs> Halo Soul asks, how many, intros, 
How many? And you want to try again? Maybe. Okay. How many instruments can you play? I can play guitar. Oh, you hear that? That's my Kendall doing a little squitch. Um, I can play guitar. I can play bass, kind of. I mean, like, I'm only really coherent at guitar. Like, I'm mostly coherent guitar and ukulele. I can play bass a bit. I can play keys a tiny bit. I used to play, I used to be have lessons for trumpet and violin. But I quit trumpet because my teacher that I loved stopped teaching me. And then I had a different teacher and she was nasty. And then I, I quit violin because I got bored of it. Um, I could play recorder, but everyone's still at recorder. What grade are you in recorder, Taha? I'm grade five in the recorder. Have I mentioned it before? Hmm, no. Never heard this come out of your mouth. Okay, good. Well, did you know that I am grade five? No, really? Wow. In the recorder. Wow. Yeah. The, what, what, the, the fifth what? The fifth grade. You're in fifth grade? In are you recorder. ten f***ing years old? Gia S asks, how's touring going so far? I was at your Austin concert and you did so good. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the nice comment. Um, it's going good. I like it very much. Um, it's exciting, especially now that I have Austin, because we're playing it, it's kind of like new renditions of all my songs. And when I do it right, when I kick my pedals right, it sounds really cool and it's very it has the kind of excitement that I'm going for. And so I think it's we're going in a in an exciting new direction with my live performances. So yes, good. Very good. Thanks for coming to my show. Angeline Hartley asks, do you put the milk in before or after the cereal? After, because I'm not a freak. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around. Thanks for watching my video and answer asking questions t to me. Um, yeah, thanks. How do I end the video?